The Bible tells us that God is the king of the universe and he's done something pretty amazing. We just heard in our lesson from John that Jesus loved the world so much that he laid his life down on the cross and picked it back up again, all so that we would be his own. But now God gives to us an amazing job. He says that each and every single one of us are princes and princesses for him. Now, as you think about princes and princesses, they should live a little bit better than everybody else around them. After all, they represent the king and the queen themselves. Just like in the classroom at school or with other people as you go out into the community, you, what you do reflects on your parents, so what we do testifies about our God in heaven. But the thing is, we don't always use our lips and our words as we should to be good princes and princesses. In fact, I have a list here of all the different things that we sometimes say with our mouths that make us not very good princes and princesses. How about this? How about name calling? Someone, you want to make fun of somebody over there because of how they look or how they act. How about dirty language or sometimes what our parents might call potty humor? How about when we use angry words against somebody and we really want to tear into them and make them feel bad? Or how about we're just simply disrespectful to our parents? We don't want to listen to them when they tell us to do something around the house. Or how about even just hurtful words? We want to make somebody feel bad. But now the Bible tells us this, that fire purifies, and it says God is the king, but God is also fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this list and put it in here. Oh no, what am I going to do with this list? all of these bad things that we've ever done, imagine that when I light this, this is like God's fire that purifies us and makes us clean. So let's see if I can catch this post-it note on fire. There it goes. Can you see it? And so we have... It is turning black. But know what it's also doing? It's eating up all of those bad things that are written on that list. Yep. It's turning red too. Yep. And so as we think about Jesus dying on the cross for us, all the sins that he took with him were completely burned away. And we're going to wait until it's finally gone. Smells like marshmallows. A little bit, it does. Okay? But now, I have one more question for you before we're done for today. Could you read all the bad things that were on that list? You can't read it anymore. It's just a pile of ash. It's all gone. Yep, and the same thing is true for all the bad things we do. They're completely burned away because Jesus died to save us from our sins. It's almost burned. Do you guys want to blow it out? You can blow it out for us. There we go. There we go. Oh, 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 more, more. Oh, there we go. We got it. Awesome. Very good. You guys can go back to your seats. Thank you.